In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create grid lines or specifically these scale lines here or the grid lines here that are narrower or smaller than the chart area. And we can control them to put it matching here or even put it somewhere here, here away from the, the sides of the left and the right side here. So let's start to look how to do this. So let's start to look how to make the grid line smaller than the chart area in chart.js. So the first thing what we need to do here is we need to go to chartjs3.com, getting started, this specific link. You can find this one in the description box. Once you're on here, copy this boiler template. Copy this. If you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video here. So then I'm going to paste that all in there and then I will cut this out. Put that in here. Save, refresh, all right. So once we refresh this, I want to maximize the size of the chart. So I'm going to see a chart box, 80%, save, refresh. All right, next part, I want to convert into a line chart. So I say here, in the type line. And what I want to do here, um, let's make this here a filler. So we're going to say fill, we say true, and then we should have a line with a background color at the bottom. All right, so you can see all these additional colors will have no meaning to us. So I'm going to remove all of those. Save, refresh. There we are. So now we have this. And what we want to do now is to start to remove these grid lines here and the border line on the scale. So what we're going to do here, let's do it for the x-axis first, comma, and I'm going to say here, grid, display, false. Save this, refresh. You can see here now the grid lines connecting to the x-axis as we remove. So I'm going to put a comma here because I want to remove as well this border line and then we're going to say here uh, draw the border line equals false save refresh so it is removed but you will not notice it yet because there's also a, a y line here the y grid lines that are connected to this line here so if we do that one if we just copy this we're going to remove them all of here as well you will see that everything will be gone and we have a clear space all right now we have this now, to make it narrow, we want to start maybe somewhere here or even on here, it's one or the other, one or the other, whatever you want. What we want to do here is to create a separate plugin because we cannot do this by default in Chart.js. So in the options, or these curly braces, put a comma here, then you're going to say your plugins bracket, and I can give it a name here. In this case, I'll just say simple, draw lines, but of course you can give it any kind of plugin. Name, then I'm going to say constant, or let's first make this a uh, comment here. So draw lines, uh, plugin block, constant, this equals ID for the object, although we won't be using that. We have this, and then we're going to say, when would we like to draw these lines? Well, I want to make sure that the lines will be behind the data set. So that will mean that we draw this before the data set. So we say here, before data sets are being drawn, then we're going to draw these lines. So uh in here the parameters chart args plugins oh sorry uh, well i guess plugin options can be here the plugin options and then what i want to do here is object destructuring constant if you don't know what's object destructuring i'm going to recommend you in the description box there's a video uh, which says chart.js for ob uh, understanding chart.js object destructuring very important to understand we're just going to get this chart object here and we're going to split them out here. And probably what we will be needing here is a CTX. Chart area might be useful. Let's break them down. Top, bottom, left, right, width and height. Uh, once we have more, we can do here probably the scales. So I'm going to say your scales. And then specifically the X and Y scale. And I don't think anything else is necessary. So then we're going to say your ctx.save to save all variables above. And what we want to do now is uh, start to draw the item. To do that, we must know the position where we want to start. And if we want to start maybe here, or let's say from this point, 20 pixels away from it, somewhere here. And if we go here, from this point, 20 pixels back. So to do this, we need to have, of course, the position of the height here. 
which you can find here. That's basically this one here. So let me just show you this so you understand what I'm talking about. So the console log. And I'm going to grab here this and the Y. If I save that, refresh, open up developer tab, you get a lot of nice information here. And uh, what we need here, basically, you can see here all the ticks. So these ticks are becoming value, very useful for us, and specifically these values here. The reason why is we want to make sure that these ticks will eventually be converted into what we call uh, pixels. So every position on the pixel will be a pixel position, or I realize it will be here, but also on the x-axis or, well, maybe we don't need the x-axis for now. Let's do the, only this one here, the y-axis. So we have this, and what we want to do is we want to convert this value into a pixel. So what we're going to do here, is well first of all let's draw the line or give it the color ctx dot stroke style equals and let's use the official uh, color from chart.js which is rgba and then we're going to say 102 102 102 point 0 0.2 or sorry comma here and then 0 0.2 this is the gray color that chart.js uses by default so then what i want to do here is uh, let's look at this. We can see here how many ticks we need to make or how many lines. In total we have here length of 10, so there's 10 lines. But probably we want to skip maybe the upper line or the lower line which is 0. We want to skip that one and we want to skip the upper line here which is number 9. Which uh, matches the value of 18, this, this one here. So what we're going to do here is, well let's draw first, ctx.begin path. To indicate that we're going to draw a line that is independent of anything else, it's a new line, so it should not be connected to anything else. And then we're going to say ctx dot move to, which would define the starting point. And in this case, I want to start here, but I want to move it a little bit here. So what I'm going to say here, this is the left. That's the chart area here. I have a video about understanding chart area in chart.js. Yes. If you don't understand what I'm doing here, watch that video. It's as well in the description box. So then I'm going to say here plus 20. Then what I want to do here is I want to get one of the values, in this case, one of these values here, which are the tick values. And what we can do here is I'm going to make here, I'm going to say here y dot get val, or forget, sorry, get pixel. This is a special command from chart, yes. Get pixel for value. And the value will be, well, let's say for now, it's going to get your value number 16. That would be this one here, 16. So once we have this, we didn't draw yet anything, but it's the preparation here. And now I have the next one is, we have already specified this point, but I wanted to go here to there. So what I'm going to do here is I say line two. This is another preparation of drawing the line. I'm just going to copy all of this. But what I'm going to do here now is I want to get the right line, and I'm going to deduct 20 pixels. So we go from here, minus 20, going there. So once we have this, then we are done here. Then I'm going to say ctx.stroke to draw the line. Save, refresh, let's close that. There we are. So you can see here now, we are here, but we're not hitting the site here. Absolutely phenomenal. So now we have this, but of course, how can we convert this into a loop? So what I'm going to do here is, because remember we had the Y here, if you have the console log, let's look at this, click on that. You can see here the console log on the ticks, multiple items. I'm going to grab the ticks here, I'm going to grab the length of that. So what I'm going to do here, basically we can just do a for, for loop. I'm going to say here, the for loop will be uh, let, e uh, let uh, i equals 1. And the reason why for 1 is I want to skip the b bottom and the top. So this for the bottom, first of all, that is 0. I don't want to hit that 0, that one should be ignored and then we're going to say here semicolon column and say i loop i as long as this will be based on the y dot ticks dot length minus one so we have the length of 10 will be the minus one is nine and then we say here i plus plus to increment this so once we did this basically we can just cut out this entire item put it in here and i guess this one we can just move here up we don't have to loop through this, that's fine. Put it in there. And then we have all of this. We want to only convert this one here. So what I need to do with this, this should be probably an I. 
let's see if this is correct or uh, um, or maybe not even an I but because we need to have maybe the value of that so let's say first and just see what happens all right as you can see here I, I already thought it was mistaken so this needs to be solved so what we need to do here is we don't want this the I because the I only gives us one so what we, what we need to have here is let me show you the console log we just need to grab the value out of it so click on this we go here to ticks and we need to grab here the value itself so what I'm going to say here ticks dot value and then probably here uh, this will be the index number of i and I'm going to copy this and then we should get the specific matching one there we are so now we get the matching one here and we have skipped the top line and we skipped the bottom line however maybe you want this or maybe you want to remove this as well so what we can do because we cannot push this more there that just uh, I guess that doesn't work here because these lines are still built like this this is the chart area where it draws it so we cannot do that one but what we can do is maybe remove this Sunday and Monday or Monday and Sunday item in here so let's start to look how to do that one to do that we're going down here and we have to play around with the ticks on the X scale we're going to say a comma we're going to say a ticks and then what I'm going to do here is a callback and the callback here, this is very important, we need to type in here function. I know normally you can skip the function, but for this one, you must have the function. So that's a, that's a warning. So uh, value, index, and ticks. And what we really want to do here is, I want to basically do the following. I want to loop through these items and see if it's index 0 or the last one up here, then we will skip that. So what I'm going to do here is, uh, do a console log, grab here the ticks, save that, refresh. All right, so right now it doesn't return anything, that's correct. So get all of these, all right, so it shows here the value. Let's see, is this um, that's one of them? I guess we need to have this more specific. Let me get here, maybe we can just get the value itself. And what we can check here, the value. Uh, let's see, is that it? Hold on, let me just remove the console log here. That is confusing me. Save that. Refresh. Alright, so we get all of these numbers here. So that's fine. But what I need is the following. I want these numbers to be converted. Uh, let's see, in here. So there's a nice command for this. And this command, and this is the reason why we need to use function for it. And not normally you could say, well, we don't need the function, you can do this. But we're not allowed to do this. This is not allowed because I'm going to use a this command and this doesn't allow a arrow a function expression. So what we want to do here is we're going to say return and we're going to put in the value of this. This only works if you have a function. If you don't have function, this command here will give an error because it doesn't recognize it. And we're going to say get label for value and the value will be equal to value here. So what will happen now is it will just understand to get the month out of it here as you can see here as you can see the difference here if we would do just return value you will see it would just get the zero of the numbers all right so this is number one then what we have to do here is just a quick check say if value is between basically it's higher than zero and value is lower than the ticks dot length minus one in that case we want to return this value save refresh all right as you can see here this works if i would remove this and i had this issue here and i couldn't figure it out you get this error very important not allowed to use this here so so you're aware of it i had this issue i couldn't figure it out for a while anyway this is basically the way to do it there we are if you are maybe saying well hold on i want to match it with this here all right so let me show you how we can quickly do this is the final one here we have this and what we can do here is basically we can get um i guess here we need to have um this command 
I'm going to put it in there and I'm going to convert this y to x and basically here you will have number one that's the first one and secondly you want to have it before the last one here which is Saturday so we need to figure out here what is the length in this case we can say here um, we can copy this I'll just put it in there but we're going to say x ticks remember it's just basically the same but then it ticks for the x length minus one and I expect this to work nicely oh all right minus one is not really what we want um there we are we have this that's number one that works and here minus one this is six uh interesting this surprises me so let's do this one say refresh all right like that apparently that will be more than enough and this should work so that's basically the way you can make this one here especially if you have multiple data points then you have it like that so besides customizing this part of the skill, maybe you want to change the ticks. In that case, I'm going to recommend you this video here on how to control the tick steps on the Y scale. So that could be a, another item that you want to do on this.